Um, today, let's work on an SAT math question. Um, this question uh, is asking us to find the solution to 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals 10. All right. So they are looking for the, the roots for this uh, quadratic equation. And how do we uh, do that? Um, this is not... This equation is not something that you can um, calculate with factorization, right? This quadratic equation cannot be solved by, solved by factorization. So we can do it with uh, completing the square. Uh, so the first step, you write down 3x squared plus 12x plus 6. And then uh, after that, you are going to you are going to um, do a x square and divide every term by 3. So this term would divide by 3, this term divide by 3, divide by 3, and see what you have. When, and the, the first term, the, the 3 would disappear, become x square. Um, 12x divided by 3 become 4x, 6 divided by 3 becomes 2. And on the right hand side, you have 0. 0 divided by 3 is still 0. So you have a new, um, easier quadratic equation to work with. Now, uh, the second step is we want to add a term here. We want to add a term here so that this part can be written as a square of a binomial, right? So how do we do that? So th this is x squared plus 4x, right? So the term we need to add is the coefficient of x, which is 4, right? And you divide this by 2, and then you square the whole thing, right? This divided by 2 is 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then you square that, which is 4. So when you add that number, you can read this will become a square of a binomial, right? So we're going to see later. So you are adding a 4. And to maintain the equivalence of, um, of this equation, you need to subtract a 4 here. So adding a 4 minus a 4. So you, you are not doing anything uh, to this equation as a whole. So this remains valid. And now, um, now we have this x squared plus 4x plus 4. And this is can be written as a square of a binomial, which is x plus 2, a parenthesis square, right? And then plus 2 minus 4, which is minus 2, equals 0. So you have to rewrite uh, this into something looking like this. Right, and this is uh, something that's solvable now. All right, let's see. Let's go to the next step, and we're going to move the minus two to the right hand side. Uh, all right. So minus two to the right hand side, this becomes positive two, and then you take the square root of both sides. Um, this will disappear, become x plus two. And then on the right hand side, after taking the square root, you're going to have plus or minus square root of 2. Right? Um, so the last step, you want to move the positive 2 to the right hand side. So when you do, this will become minus 2. Right? Minus 2 plus or minus square root 2. And this is the answer. Right? And which choice is that? Um, which is choice A right here? Right? Choice A. Okay, very nice. Um, if you find this helpful, please share to your uh, Facebook page, uh, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or you know maybe I send uh, via email to your friends. Um, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.